It's a happy birthday to a good friend of ours, Art Garfunkel. I didn't even realize this, but Pete the Body Bilotti, you noted this on Twitter yesterday. Who alerted you of Art Garfunkel, our good friend's birthday? Well, I follow a uh, very good retro site on Facebook, mm -hmm. and it, a lot of that stuff comes up, and mm -hmm. it said it was Art Garfunkel's birthday. So I figured we should uh, acknowledge it. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, November the 5th. He turned 76 years old, Art Garfunkel, 76 years old. Doesn't look a day over 50. Mm-hmm. Looking good, sounding good. And just a couple of weeks ago, Art joined us here on the show, and I would say gave us one of the more indelibly bizarre, strange, awkward, uncomfortable interviews in DA show history. So it's time to salute Art Garfunkel, who turned 76 yesterday. Now, Damon, I can hear you, but only distantly, so very anxious to say hello to you, but you are very small from a large distance. I hate this question, Dan. You I love. This question I don't love. I don't really see that linkage. I'm asked this question all my life, and I don't get it. Well, I, I wonder why you think they go together. These, kind of, these mathematical issues infuse all of life. Uh, if you are wondering the distance between 100 and 700, there's a 600 jump. Well, if I give you the number 327, how much of a proportion from 100 to 600 is that 327? I'm, I'm sure I'm losing you. Are you also um, interested in sciences? Not particularly. So I, I think it's coy to shy away from anything that people are curious about with Simon and Garfunkel, and I try and be straightforward guy. Well, a couple of years ago, I read that you had suggested that maybe you had created a monster in Paul Simon. Uh, do you still feel a couple oh, of years later that, that kind way? Of I'm not so interested. You're, you're using low journalism. That's not nice. Come on. You want to be likable, not go down to the lowest common denominator. Come on. Come on. I do use my BlackBerry. People have told me, it's a phone. Didn't you know that? No, I never use it as a phone. It doesn't ring. I don't know why. I don't think I am. I don't know what the number is. I never give it. I don't know it. Sorry, uh, I couldn't give you more time and hear more quotes of things I've said in the past. I, I didn't mean to upset you. I apologize about that, Art. You didn't? I didn't mean to, no. I didn't mean to upset you. I'm not upset. I'm very happy. So thank you very much for your time, Dan. Come on. Come on. I hate this question, Dan. Bum, 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 bum. Garfunkel turning 76 years old yesterday. Mm. Mm. That was even more uncomfortable when I listened back to some of those sound bites. You know, we have focused on the come on. We have focused on the I'm not interested in talking about bleep like that. But we forgot that in the same interview, he said he has a Blackberry that he never uses to call anybody, and he didn't even know it was a phone. He said he got text messages on it, but doesn't know the phone number. Come on. Which seems kind of hard to do because you have to give out your phone number, no, to get text messages? Unless he's mistaking text messages for emails? In the same interview, he also was going over some weird math concept that I couldn't follow either. And in the beginning, said he couldn't hear us, but that he loved me, but hated the questions. There was a whole lot of weird in Art Garfunkel. I think Art and Jameis should get together, eat W's, and talk about music. Come on. Eat W's and talk about blackberries. <laughs>